Hey guys, my name is Mike Hermes, and today I'm going to show you how to create a complex object in Maya 2018 in a really quick way. Have you ever had that situation where you needed to create a ceiling trimming or some aluminum profile or something like that in Maya? and you didn't want to spend a lot of time on it, well, I'll show you a quick way how you can do that. Okay, let's jump in. Here we go. All right, so we're in uh, Maya 2018, and let's go in and go to uh, Create. We're going to go to our Curve Tools, and we're going to select the EP Curve Tool. Okay, then we're going to jump in. We're going to go to our top view, and we're going to make sure that Snap to Grid is on. So we're going to click on this little magnet up here. So now if we click on... Um, uh, on the grid here, it will snap to the individual uh, cross sections. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a profile. So we're going to click once there, once there, and I'm just going to go down. And as I do, you see that it starts to take shape. And I don't want this to be too perfectly straight, so just give it some detail. Okay, and you'll see it in a second once I'm done just to give you an idea how this works all right and then we'll go back one and maybe one or two down like so so if we hit enter we get this guy pretty interesting shape but again it's about you know the principle of the thing and you will be really creative with it and come up with your own okay all right so now that i have this what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit uh, Control d to duplicate i'm going to hit w to move this up so i got two of these and I'll turn off snapping here so I can move it freely so I got one here and shift click one down there okay so now that these two are selected this one and that one I'm gonna go uh, up to my surfaces menu and I'm gonna go to loft at the option box make sure this is set to uniform or reverse basically the settings they got right here and we're gonna hit loft now, as we do this, we get this guy, which already starts to look like something. Uh, problem is, though, that this is NURBS and I want polygons because I also want to change this a bit. So with this selected, I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to go to convert and I'm going to convert NURBS to polygons. Again, I'm going to go to the option box because I just don't want to do a straightforward um, conversion. I want to make sure that it's uh, transferred into quads, not triangles. And uh, I'm going to leave this a standard fit. I'm going to leave all of these settings alone and I'm going to hit apply. Now, when I do that, you see a polygonal object um, basically in the same position as my NURBS object. So I'm going to move it and you will see this is my NURBS object. This is my polygon object. So I'm going to select my NURBS object. I'm going to go to uh, edit, delete by type history. And then I can delete this and the curves. There we go. And then I got this guy here and I can go forward on this if I like. Uh, you could use this as, let's say, an aluminum profile or whatnot. But what I want to do is I want to go in to uh, deform. We're going to go to nonlinear and bend which will create a bent handle. I'll hit four so you can see it, it's inside there. Hit five to go back. I'm gonna hit control A from my attribute editor and I'm gonna go into the bend handle. Let's see in what direction it's sitting. And for example, you can flip it all the way around and make something like this, right? Now, I personally think this is a very quick and cool way to make something like this. So hopefully you agree. Uh, once you're at this position, if you want to keep it that way, select it, go to uh, edit, delete by type history, that will get rid of your bend deformer, and you are ready to go, okay? So hopefully uh, this little tutorial was enjoyable. If you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to help if I can. And that said, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.